Connecticut State Police have released a new report on the response to the Sandy Hook tragedy more than five years ago after that horrific day. And the report shares the lessons learned and offers some recommendations to improve response. Good evening, Ann and Ann. This is the 74-page after-action report critiquing the state police response to the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. It concludes the police response was, quote, handled effectively. Four, eight Connecticut State Police recruits have been terminated from the force. This coming in after an investigation found them involved in cheating and plagiarism, which is in violation of CSP's rules and regulations. Their termination is effective immediately. When State Trooper John Barone walked over to Pickard and slapped Pickard's camera out of his hand, Barone then confiscated Pickard's legally carried pistol and pistol permit. When Pickard picked up his camera and resumed filming, Barone erroneously claimed that filming the police is illegal. He proceeded to confiscate Pickard's camera and take it back to his police cruiser, placing it on the car's roof. What the troopers didn't realize was that the camera was still working and recording their full conversation. In the recording, Barone can be heard discussing with Sergeant John Jacoby how to justify charging Pickard, saying at one point, quote, got to cover our ass. Listen closely. With the camera still rolling, the officers proceed to call a Hartford police officer, see if there was any grudges against Picard, open an investigation of Picard in the police database, and discuss a separate protest that he had organized at the state capitol. The police eventually charged Picard with reckless use of highway by a pedestrian and creating a public disturbance. Both charges are eventually dropped by the state after nearly a year in the Connecticut Superior Court system. New at noon, a Connecticut state trooper is suspended after being arrested in Groton. State police are only saying Trooper Jeff Menino was arrested in Groton, but they aren't giving details about the charges he's now facing. His badge and gun have been confiscated. I was driving along. I was going to hit you with a simple citation that I keep, but no, you got to be. Here in the Alert Center, the Connecticut State Police are asking for your support when it comes to their cruiser. Of course, when you see this thing behind you and the lights flashing when you're going down the highway, not the ideal situation. But just looking at the cruiser right next to the Bark Hampstead Reservoir, it looks pretty nice, right? So the Connecticut State Police are in the running for the best looking cruiser contest. Well, you guys, he is the third state trooper in the last week that is now under investigation. I am to work. I, sh I should get to work. Is that what you're telling me? Sorry, sorry. We gotta do an interference. His body camera's on. His body, body camera's on. Stop. Uh, he has his body camera on. I don't on. care. Stop. Stop. I don't care. Stop. Stop. Right? Stop. I'm gonna. This is private property. I'm gonna, okay? I'm not doing anything. You're not right, going to video. Uh, you know, he's under a lot of stress. It doesn't. That's not an excuse. But um, you know, it's a little disappointing. We visit everything from the uh, the cameraman's side to the trooper's side. We look at past performance, and we look at you know all factors involved. Refer him to. Uh, we get some uh, employees' assistance, help him with his stress. Um, we're going to investigate the incident, and we're going to make sure that our, our personnel treat the public the right way. Because we've just learned about a breaking story, a Connecticut state trooper has now had his police powers suspended. Again, this broke just minutes ago. We've learned Trooper Daniel Barrera, who was involved in a crash in Clinton last year on Christmas Day, has now been placed on administrative duty with pay, again, because of some type of investigation involving that wreck. Now, we have... He's not the first trooper to be under investigation in the last week. The first happening on July 27th, when a state police sergeant was suspended after being involved in a car crash with a police cruiser. And on the same day, a state trooper was suspended pending an investigation of sexual assault allegations against him. Vernon police say that Solis hit the victim, leaving them with a head injury. They also say that he hit the victim in front of a child, but the child is okay. Okay. The children aren't involved in this, so if you have a friend or relative that can cross, you can see your children, all right? And although he posted bond with the protective order, he now must find another place to stay. I'm in Connecticut hosting ESPN Sports Center breaking down the fights. You gotta I go got to Connecticut? Connecticut, Bristol. Oof. No, I, I have a oh, 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 yeah, I have oh, a medical shit. marijuana card. Step out. I have a card. Step out. All right, all right, stop, man. You want to fucking run your mouth? No problem. You came to the right guy. Step out. All Come right, on. all right, stop. Come on.
Yes, Bethel police say that early Sunday morning, officers saw trooper Andrew Murphy stumbling in a parking lot. They told him not to get into his car, but police say he got in and started driving anyway. Police followed him to his home and arrested him there. Murphy's charged with DUI, disobeying an officer, and interfering with police. He's also on administrative leave as well. Let's just stop focus on the negative. Under the microscope. I have no tolerance for those that abuse the system. Connecticut State Police Commissioner James Ravella, the subject of a historic no confidence vote by a second union within the agency. In a statement, since he has taken charge, the agency has never been embroiled in so much controversy. The latest controversy, a traffic ticket scandal where data was falsified to skew racial statistics. The American Civil Liberties Union chiming in, calling for, quote, swift, transparent, meaningful accountability. We have to be careful uh, in not creating an environment in which we're pitting uh, public safety against um, the residents of the state of Connecticut. Evidence suggests as many as 58,000 records may have been falsified over about the last decade. The acts of a few are not by all. But according to the Racial Profiling Prohibition Project who uncovered the fraud, as many as 300 troopers may have been involved. But sir, excuse me, sir, you have to get sir, out of the way. Sir, I know, me, sir, I know your inclination is wanting to assault me, excuse Sergeant. Me, Stop pushing me. I'm trying to get in. I'm that is Connecticut State Police Sergeant Brian Fahey. Try you to get in the, come building. in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a, like a, like a savage. What are you Back doing? For the second time in two years, Fahey's been caught assaulting Sean Paul Reyes, one of America's top constitutional auditors. At this point, Sergeant Brian Fahey assaulted me yet again. All over Connecticut when I was doing stand up, I would drive from Boston into Connecticut. Yeah. I did like a lot of gigs in Hartford. I did gigs. Hartford in, is a shithole. Yeah, it's a shithole. And again, they have been here since about 1 30 this morning. Uh, police say that someone at this home made allegations against Jose Campos, who is a Connecticut state trooper, and that prompted a sexual assault investigation. And Campos has been suspended pending the outcome of this investigation. His police power have also been revoked. So we have learned what exactly has been going on at this home again on Old Field Road here in Southbury. We are going to continue to follow this closely and any new details that we learn here, we will pass along to you. We're going to stay on scene here, as you can see, still a very active investigation at this point. It just never fucking ends in this fucking job. I got 14 months. I can't fucking wait to be done. This ought to tell you why our department, instead of having 1300 has 850 right now. There's a fucking clue to the public. What a bunch of assholes you are. State Police Trooper Sarah Starkey of Waterford was suspended this afternoon by her superiors. This is the mugshot provided by Norwich Police. The action follows her arrest on DWI charges late Sunday afternoon. Police tell Eyewitness News they received a call in their dispatch center about an erratic driver on West Main Street. What we know is that Sarah Starkey was in her own private vehicle when she was stopped by Norwich Police about 5.30 Sunday afternoon here on Salem Turnpike. Eyewitness News has learned that Trooper Starkey had just left the Harp and Dragon pub downtown. Her blood alcohol content was .16, twice the legal limit. A manager of the pub had no comment for our story. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of going to Connecticut, but the bottom line is Connecticut is filled with despair. Yeah. It's not a real state. It's a highway <laughs> between New York and Boston. You know it's a highway. You guys put houses on a highway. This is what it is. It's a highway, and then along the highway, it's a bunch of fucking tax-sheltering cunts that uh, that live in Manhattan and then have these palatial estates in That's Greenwich. That's definitely Canada. true. Trooper First Class Christopher Russell faced a judge today charged with assault and disorderly conduct. Investigators say Russell and his girlfriend got into a fight on Saturday night and things turned violent. Police say Russell ripped a mirror off a wall and smashed it on the floor. They also say the incident happened in front of the victim's 16 year old daughter. No one was seriously hurt. State Police Internal Affairs is also investigating. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Is it in the original dispensary container? Is what? It's gross. Is it in the original dispensary container? No. Then you're fucked. How's that sound? I would 
rather have less troopers on the road than have more troopers on the road who have documented proof of, um, of falsifying information. Allegations so serious, five separate investigations have been launched. Pressure is mounting for Ravella to step aside. Sergeant John McDonald's now facing charges of second degree assault, reckless driving, and DUI. McDonald was off duty when he ran a stop sign, crashing into 52 year old Lisa Conroy, as well as her 19 year old daughter. Police say Sergeant McDonald was leaving a retirement party at Black Hog Brewery that night. The warrant state surveillance video from the brewery shows that he consumed what appeared to be at least eight glasses of beer that night. The arrest warrant also details a witness who identified McDonald the night of the incident as, quote, definitely hammered. That witness was an off-duty volunteer firefighter from Oxford. You ever heard of what a heat seeker is? A heat seeker is something that draws attention to itself. Heat seeking missiles. They go for the heat. Sit the fuck down. Did I clean them off? Connecticut State Trooper has been suspended over possible violations of department policy. Christopher Melanson uh, was placed on paid administrative leave Monday. He was working for the State Police Traffic Services Unit, but State Police said that his leave is not in relation to the ongoing ticket audit that the state is doing. An internal investigation is underway. Afternoon, Governor Ned Lamont named Ron L. Higgins as the replacement for current Public Safety Commissioner James Ravella. But this leadership change coming, as you said, at a time of uncertainty for the state police department facing staffing shortages, union unrest, and now a federal investigation into falsified traffic stops. Bye bye. 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 Uh, I'm out of here. Bye. Bye bye. Okay? Bye 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 bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye. 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 Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Uh bye bye.